Okay, symmetry is cool because you've been doing it since, I don't know, like first grade. But the thing is, it gets a little trickier than just what you did in the first grade. Symmetry, you probably talked about the idea of you could take a figure and perhaps you would fold it. And if you matched on both sides, then you were symmetric. And so you practice drawing what's called lines of symmetry. That was back in the day. Now, that's the same here, but notice we have two other kinds that you probably have never done before, and that's what's going to be new. Um, so I won't talk very much about a line of symmetry, but you just get to go back to the good old days of saying, hey, if I take a figure sort of like this triangle, is there a way to fold the triangle so that if I fold it onto itself or map it onto itself, that it will match? And of course, the answer is yes, your line of symmetry would look something like that because if you folded it across that line you would have two congruent figures. That is not changing. What's changing is the next two, correct? So a point of symmetry, let me leave that there, that was kind of pretty. Okay, so with, a, with point symmetry the idea here is that um, it's going to be using a rotation to decide if something is symmetric and notice it's not just rotating it a little bit guys but it is rotating it a complete 180 about a center point. That's bold for a reason. And here's the little side note. It means that it looks the same upside down. So basically a center point, I would look at this as the letter N, correct? Okay, I see an N. If I were to go right here and then I were to reflect my figure around the exact center of this, what would it look like? Well, if I rotate it exactly 180, this whole thing would start spinning and it would end up down here and it should would look like an N again <laughs> like it would still look like the letter N and because it still looks like itself once it's rotated a complete 180 um, that's what makes it have point symmetry. Uh, so rotational symmetry, how is that different? Because we're still rotating, right? But with rotational symmetry it is different because um, notice it says that you map onto yourself if you rotate by less than 360. Okay, so I'm not saying spin it exactly 180. I'm not saying spin it exactly a full 360. I'm saying just spin it a little bit. So in other words, like, um, let me just draw from here to here. Okay, just focus on to the middle to that top little ray of the sun or whatever. If I took this and rotated it just like that much, right, and this one would end up here, and we'd still have that line to the middle, everything would still match up. They'd all shift a little bit over. This is too blocky for you to see. Let me switch. Let's try it like this. There we go. If I'm here and I rotate this bar like a clock, think of it almost like a clock, and I move it over a little bit, this is going to go here, this one's going to go here, this one's going to go here. Anyways, they'd all rotate just a little bit, but would it not be the same exact shape? I think it would be the same exact shape, and because of that, uh, that would be rotational symmetry. So, And sometimes you can have more than one, right? And that's what this is going to be asking you. So we're just going to do four examples. Um, if you look at number five, it's going to say, like, what kinds of symmetry does it have? So you want to think about, could I do line symmetry? So is there a way to draw a line to where this folds on top of itself? Um, I really feel like that looks good, right? If I fold it right there, doesn't it match up? So I'm going to go ahead and check off line that it works. I'll use a check since I said check. Yay, that one works. Uh, point symmetry. Point symmetry would mean that I take a center point and I'm supposed to rotate this upside down and it should still look the same. Well, if I rotate this thing upside down, a complete 180, it will not look the same, so I'm not going to check that off, okay? And then rotational symmetry would be that same idea I talked about earlier. If I'm here and I rotate this a little bit, could it still look the same? Well, let me just see if I go from here to here and here to here. If I were to rotate this to there, let's think about it. This one would then go there. This one would then go there so on and so forth. Does that work? Would it match up if I turned it just that amount? I think it would, y'all. I think it would. Tell me if I'm wrong later, but I think it would. So this has both kinds of symmetry, and so I will check off 
both kinds of symmetry. Okay, uh, so now let's move to the letter A down here. The letter A, I definitely could fold it here and it would match, so it does have line symmetry. It will not look the same upside down, and I know for sure that makes no sense because there's no way to rotate that and still get the same image. So we're done with number seven. Number eight. I'm looking. Let's see. I'm looking first for a line of symmetry for anything to match up. And I don't think I can do it, y'all. I can't find any way to cut this into pieces to where it would lay on top of itself. Point symmetry. So if I were to pick a center point, if I were to spin this 180, would it look exactly the same? Um, no. And rotational symmetry, no. I'm going to go none on this one. Um, hopefully that makes sense to you because I can't see how to rotate this even just a little bit to make it match up. And then number six, I left that for last because honestly it scares me. Okay, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. Okay, I do know the for sure, can I draw a line and make it match? I, y'all, I, I can't, I don't think. Let me see. Can I do, I can't do this. It won't match up. I can't do that. It won't match up. Could I do this diagonal though? Let's think about it. If I were to fold the paper, no, that wouldn't work either. Well, crap. So I don't think there's line symmetry. Point would be pick a center point, which it's already drawn, and I'm going to spin this 180 degrees. So this piece would go down here, and then this piece would go up here. Ooh, that does work. It would lay on top of itself. So point symmetry works. Rotational would be that I can rotate it not a full 360, but just a little bit, and then it would match up. Um, I'm Here's the deal. I'm not going to choose that. If you choose it and you're like, oh, because of the 180, you know, I say don't, don't do that. I mean, I guess technically you could be right, but you already chose point symmetry. So when we choose rotational, let's exclude 360 and maybe even exclude 180 because we're going to choose point if that's the case. But I won't count you wrong if you choose both because I guess technically we are rotating it. But I'm only going to choose point for this one. So that was fun. Not really. It's kind of hard. So for some of you that are visually challenged like myself, this one is weird. But, uh, you know, feel free to draw your little arrows and maybe use an eraser because you're going to be drawing all over these to see if it has that kind of symmetry. So good luck with those problems and ask, um, ask if you get stuck and work together on it. And I, I think it'll be not so bad. Thanks.